Hey guys, welcome to today's video and today we're gonna be painting my drum brakes. Okay, coming down here. The things we'll be needing today. Number one, of course, your drum brake that we're gonna be painting. Some sort of brake cleaner. And of course, your high heat paint. It has to be high heat, otherwise it'll just melt off. And of course, some protective gloves for your hand. Okay guys, let's get to it. First, of course, we will open up our drum brake. Now, interestingly enough, when you order these guys brand new, it's gonna, it's gonna have some sort of film or grease from the factory that's gonna prevent the paint from uh, sticking on. So this is where our uh, brake cleaner comes in. So we just spray it down, so this way we can get the film out. So when we paint it, it'll stick on nice and easy. Now that our drums are nice and dry and have been sprayed down with the uh, brake cleaner, it is now time to put the first coat of paint. But just make sure that you never touch the side of the drum because this is where your shoes grab on and if you put paint on them, it's just gonna mess it up. In order to not do that, what we're gonna do is plug the holes, as you can see, so this way when we paint over them, it's not gonna go through and it won't stick or potentially stick onto this side of the drum. So let's do that. So grab a piece of paper towel, nothing too fancy. Okay guys, now that we have finished covering the holes for the drum rig, it is now time to do the first layer. Uh, again, has to be high heat paint. I chose this color, silver, just so it'll look the same as the drum rigs. Make sure you shake it. And here we go. Twist it a bit, just a tiny bit, so we can get this other side. So now that we've done our first coat, we're gonna leave it for 15 minutes. We'll come back and we'll do the second coat. Okay, um, while we wait for our first layer of paint to dry, I thought I'd explain why I decided to paint my brand new drum brakes. Um, it is because to prevent rust from building up over time when it's exposed to, of course, rain, to the elements, to the salt in the winter time, like it is right now. Steel, of course, rusts like insane. And in doing so, by painting your drum brakes, it just makes it look clean and nice and well taken care of. It's just nice to look at overall and you appreciate the beauty of the car. Hence why I decided to paint my drum brakes. Okay guys, 15 minutes has passed and it is now time for the second coat. I'm probably gonna go for three coats for both drums just so it's nice and clean and it will stick on. Okay, so let's do it. Again, don't forget Shake as you spray. Okay, so while we wait for the second coat to dry up, I thought I'd talk about why I decided to uh, buy a, second, a new set of drum brakes for my rear end. First reason is that my current drum brakes right now that it's installed to the car is completely rusted. Now, fortunately, it has not affected my braking performance. At least I don't think so. I mean, I don't drive the car crazy. Secondly, my car has a high mileage. It just reached 300,000 a couple weeks back, I believe. And I thought maybe, hey, why not replace the rear end? So it's new and you won't have to worry about anything else. Third, I have also replaced the front end brake kit for my car around September last year. So having a new 
front end and the new rear end would give the car a better braking performance. Um, I also am going to do the whole hardware, the shoe, you know, the whole thing. In addition to that, I'm also replacing the car's cooling system. As you can see, this box right here is full of goodies. Your upper radiator hose, your lower radiator hose, fuel filter, a water pump, water pump belt, the brake shoes that are going with the drums, gaskets, thermostat, serpentine belt, the hardware kit for our rear brakes. Okay guys, time for the third coat of paint on our beautiful drums. Okay guys, now that that drum brake is done, we're just gonna wait for it to dry, we'll leave it in the open space. Now, it is time for the second drum. Better not forget it. So, for this guy right here, we're gonna be doing the same process. So I'm just gonna fast forward to when it is completed. That's gonna be in three, two, one. Okay guys, now that we're done both the drum brakes with three layers on each, now they are ready to be installed. But until then, we're gonna leave this overnight here inside the garage for the paint to fully stick and dry. Okay everyone, now that we've painted both drum brakes, we're gonna leave them overnight to fully stick and dry onto the drums. To recap what we have done, number one, unpack your drum brakes, of course. Number two, prepare the surface where you're gonna paint them. You can use old cardboard boxes to prevent your paint from spraying all over the place. Number three, prepare the surface of your drum brakes by getting rid of the oil, oil, the factory oil by using your brake cleaner. Number four, make sure you use a high heat paint. Number five, make sure to cover all the lug holes and the hub center of your drum brakes. This way you can minimize the paint that goes on the inside of the drum brakes where the shoes will touch. Number six, when painting your drum, make sure you spray it and coat it evenly, just like what we did with ours right here. This way you can prevent oversprays and uneven spots on your drum brakes. Now, if you find this video helpful or if you're thinking of painting your drum brakes or your calipers, please give this a thumbs up and we will see you on the next one.